What's up, man? It's your boy, Big Brown, representing CNL, Lewis Enterprises, Cash and Luxury. Um, basically, I saw on YouTube, you know, some people was asking about, you know, doing a tutorial for the other uh, orchestra software, so I thought I'd just do one real quick, um, nice and easy. Um, basically, I'm using Sonar 6, but, you know, same principles going to be applied to Cubase, the Windows, Visual Performer, Logic, you know, pretty much all the other software but um I've been using Sonar since Pro 9 so it's been I, I stay using it. It works for me. But um basically I have the software right here which is the audio and this is the MIDI. Alright. Um the default is the flute. And uh, one of the questions was how do you change sounds or use different sounds. Basically, you go to the MIDI track, and you go to different channels, this one through 16 down there. Um, basically, you just go and choose the channel that you want. Um, so, if I wanted to use uh, the French horn, I would go to channel 6, this 6 right here. Alright, um, which of course to change the sounds, you just click on it and you choose the sounds that you want. But that's how you choose your channel. You go to your MIDI, your MIDI track and change your channel and that's how you choose different ones. Um, as far as being able to use like several instruments at one time, you just add more MIDI tracks. Um, do MIDI track, add a MIDI track. I choose my software and I choose my channel. So I can have channel 11 and 6. So if I record something in 11, instruments playing at the same time. Play up to 16 um, instruments at one time. Of course, it depends on how strong your CPU is, whether it's going to be able to handle it or not. And uh, as far as other features on it, you can edit your sound. So if I wanted to edit my flute, I just go to the flute, click on edit, and boom, there's my editor window. You know, you can change different things, the character, the sound, the filter, the EQ. Um, vibretto, uh, pan, just different little things that you can change on it. I usually leave it alone, but if I wanted to come up with a weird flute that's different, I would definitely go in and edit thing and, uh, and edit my sounds. Your volume, there's your pan right there. Um, you can also change the style and how your instruments are arranged, because you know it pans and, and stuff for you. I want to change, let's say I want to do a band style. And you can also preview it on here. So if you go to style, click on style, you can click preview right here. You have to hold it down. But it, you see, you get your different styles right here. Um, if I go to marching band, I click on preview. You just click apply if you want to apply that style. I'm gonna click apply. It's asking you, do you really want to do this? You say yes. Oh, okay. And then it switched up the way that everything is arranged for you. And you pretty much be ready to go. And you got your effects, chorus, and reverb right over here. You just click on the tab and you can click edit, and it shows you where you can edit your reverb. Click on chorus, edit your chorus. 
I usually leave that stuff alone because it sounds good already. But again, if you want a different sound, you could do that. Um, that's pretty much about it, you know. In a nutshell, that's you know everything to it. Peace.